Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're going to go over GMX, a decentralized perpetual exchange where you could trade multiple cryptocurrencies and even use leverage. I'm going to go over the benefits of using a DEX, so let's get right into this video. checking out the channel every day we put out a new video about cryptocurrency education markets giveaways and more make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any content now let's go to the moon let's dive into the gmx platform and all the benefits of using a dex First of all, there's $43.8 billion in total trading volume, $34.6 million in open interest, and 44,000 plus users. One of the largest reasons I'd use a DEX is because you own full custody of your tokens. You're not sending them off to an exchange. You don't have the risk of losing it, the exchange shutting down, or any of that bad stuff. There's also reduced liquidation risks. You save on cost because you're using Arbitrum or Avalanche, which is extremely fast and extremely cheap, and simple swaps here as well. So there are two tokens in this ecosystem. It's GMX, it's the utility and governance token, which accrues 30% of the platform's generated fees. You could buy it on Arbitrum and Avalanche, and then GLP. It's the liquidity provider token which accrues 70% of the platform's generated fees. So before we go ahead and take trades, we're going to go and take a look at the staking um, and all the other things they offer and then we'll go and uh, I'll show you guys how to take trades here, longs, shorts, and set up limit orders so you guys can buy the dip. So. If you wanted to stake GMX, you can do so here and GLP. GMX first, it's at $13.40. I don't really recommend buying it and staking it because I still think there is room for downside in the market. But if we take a look, there's 33.96 APR. And if you look at the total supply, there's about $102 million and $87 million of that is staked. So that's approximately almost 90% of all the tokens uh, are staked, which is pretty bullish, but it still doesn't mean that the price can hold. I still see downside there. And GLP sitting at 69 cents um, with 34% APR. And same thing, I wouldn't recommend just buying a bunch of it and staking it. If you could buy some to reduce some of the trading fees, all right there, but I don't think that's the move. And here is for vesting to convert, uh, to put it into the vault. I would definitely read more about that if you're wanting to do so. If we go to the buy, you could buy their uh, tokens GMX, GLP on both networks very easily. And we'll go to the referral section just in case you want to send this out to your friends, to your community, or whoever it may be. You can go ahead and create a referral link and then just share it with anybody and then you'll get fee discounts and earn rebates. Pretty much as easy as that. And here's the whole ecosystem, all their pages, all, you know, everything you need to know, contract addresses, all their links, everything you wanna verify right here. So let's go ahead and trade. As I mentioned, you have two networks, Arbitrum and Avalanche. We're sitting on the Avalanche network right, right now. We can long, we can short, and we can make simple swaps. Right here you have the trading UI, you have AVAX, that, the coin we're looking at, the current price of AVAX, the 24 hour change, 24 hour high, 24 hour low, and then you can change the chart to whatever time frame you want right here. Very standard stuff, and you have your positions here. So. Before we trade, before we go take a long or short, we're going to have to make a swap. The minimum trade is $10. So we're going to swap two AVAX for $30. And we're going to do that right now. And as you guys can see, it's pretty cheap. And not only that, it's extremely fast. So why I love GMX is because you can actually do limit orders as well. And let me show you the beauty of that. And we had our swap just complete. So let's say that we wanted to buy the dip right here. We have USDC and we're going to do a limit order on Ethereum. So let's say Ethereum hits $500. We want to buy, you know, whatever we have, $38 worth. But imagine you had, you know, $1,000 or, you know, your couple hundred thousand dollars or whatever it may be. You can set up a limit order to get um, you know, solid prices if the market does fall down to those entries. So if the price hits $500, your limit order will automatically trigger and your purchase will happen and you'll get entries at $500 or whatever you set it to. So we have to approve this first. We'll approve USDC 
and then we'll set up this limit order and then you guys can see as easy as that we have stuffed an order in here and as soon as ethereum hits 500 dollars our 38 dollars is going to be purchasing some ethereum so let's go ahead and wait for the approval and then we'll enable orders so accept terms right here you can read that if you want um but i'm a degen so let's go ahead and do that let's create a limit order for 500 dollars we'll confirm the limit order and then we will have to pay a small fee as well and we have created the order so let's go ahead and wait for that swap order created awesome so our order has popped up now and you can see type it's a limit order and the difference between limit and market is limit you can pick the price in market you're buying the next price in the order book so that would be 10,000 or 1,082 1,079 so swap 38 dollars in USDC for 0.076 ethereum when the price of ethereum goes to 500 USDC and you can see the mark price right now so you can actually edit this or just flat out cancel it which we are going to do every time you cancel or edit there will be a small gas fee but that's why it's on these two networks and not the ethereum network where you're paying an arm and a leg so we've canceled our order and we should get our usdc back we are gonna go ahead and take a long we want to take a long on bitcoin We'll wait for our funds to get back. We have our USDC ready now to take a long. We're gonna go long on Bitcoin. We have $38 here. And like I said, instead of using a limit order where we're picking the price, market order will throw us right in the game at the next price in the order book. So let's go ahead and take a look at our um, leverage. Right now we're using 2x leverage. You can see our liquidation price of 11,600 and our profits in, are gonna be paid out in Bitcoin. You can see our fee and you can see our entry price. So let's go ahead and take this trade. We're gonna to have to enable leverage. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Enable the leverage and then let's take this trade and I'm in the game. So awesome, let's long BTC. Fees are high to swap from USDC to BTC. It's all right, I'm gonna make it back on this trade. Let's go. So excited, just got a long in here. Let's wait, a, let's wait for this to show up in our positions. You can see my position here. I'm long 2X on Bitcoin. My value is $38. My size is $76. So whoever said my size is in size, check that out. Collateral, mark price, entry price, liquidation price, and then I can edit and close it. So I'm gonna actually hold this. I don't, I'm gonna hold this to see if it gets liquidated. And if not, I'll hold it all the way. I mean, as long as I can, unless the fees eat me up here, but I'm just gonna leave this and see what happens. And um, it's as easy as that. You could trade other cryptos. They have AVAX, Ethereum, BTC, and they'll probably add more when the market recovers a little bit. So just wanted to do a quick video on how to trade on GMX. I highly recommend getting on a decentralized exchange. If you have any questions, post them below and I'll see you guys tomorrow.